So now that we know what L1 and L2 norms are, let's move on to a different question uh, and very common question. So why does L1 norm minimization gives us a sparse uh, gives a sparsity whereas L2 minimization do not, right? So consider uh, we want to minimize the L1 norm, I mean the 1 norm of W such that the G is phi times W where phi is a vector of some constants and G, I mean W is, uh, we have already discussed, is a two-dimensional vector of coefficients w0 and w1. So this gives me a line equation uh, which I mean this gives me a line equation where if for suppose g is a constant you get ax plus by equal to some c right. So this is a line equation. Now we want to minimize l1 norm of w such that this line equation is also satisfied. So, uh, we know the L1 norm ball is nothing but a diamond, right, of some value, okay. And let us, for example, represent the line equation to be g equal to I suppose omega to be this particular line okay now we want to minimize uh, this particular norm given this so we need to satisfy this particular both these equation both these uh, terms so the minimization would be when these two intersect I mean these two touch for the first time so I need to find my minimum value of k for which okay uh, minimum value of k for which it coincides with the line equation so nothing but g equal to phi transpose w right so what do I do is I keep on increasing my k value so that my diamond keeps on increasing and there for one specific value of k this coincides with the line and this uh, touches the line for the first time and that is my minimization value for uh, now minimum value occurs uh, at for suppose this is my w0 and this is my w1 my minimum value occurs only when the line touches this one at w1 so that means my w vector uh, will be nothing but uh, w1 is some k and w2 is 0 so my g would be nothing uh, but uh, some a times 0 plus b times some constant right so i am so one value is becoming 0 here in two values right so this is uh, what happens even I mean this is true for even n dimensional signal it's just that it's hard to put it on the paper so at most time most time most times the line touches these points instead of the sides so at most uh, in most cases the line touches these particular points rather than the sides here okay this is very rare so that is why it leads to sparsity we can see one of the vector I mean one of the coefficient becoming zero another coefficient is some value k so that is how l1 uh, minimization leads to sparsity
I'll discuss why L2 minimization do not lead to sparsity in my next video.